the first in Christ. Today being the Thursday in the second week of the Advent season, the scripture brings to us the struggle between evil and good. Of course, evil can never tolerate good because it sees good as a threat. John the Baptist came and he preached a message of repentance in an attempt to win people back to God. What happened? Herod saw him as a threat and a personal denunciation of his depraved life and ultimately beheaded him. Jesus on his part came preaching a message of the kingdom of love and peace. But the Pharisees saw him as an exposer of their corrupt religious leadership and conspired to put him to death. Dear friends, through the long history of the church, men and women have paid with their lives for their commitment to the goodness of Jesus Christ. Evil correctly views good as a threat, for both evil and good are incompatible. Jesus warns us in the gospel today that the kingdom of God suffers violence, for it is good confronting evil. But then Jesus added an enigma. He says, the violent take it by force. The meaning of these obscure words seem to be that evil must be met with resistance and that only those who are brave enough to engage evil in a life and death struggle can become part of the kingdom. And so, my dear friends, if we are passive, we are only giving the victory to evil. We are mistaken, however, if you think that this struggle between good and evil is something that is going on only outside us. No. The real battle is within. Each one of us contains something of good and something of evil. So we must come to terms with the fact that it is seriously and very difficult to be a follower of Jesus Christ. Do we really listen to the teaching of Jesus Christ? Or do we dismiss it as something that is not practicable, or something that is irrelevant, or something that is directed to others apart from us? His teaching, remember, is a threat to our own selfishness and to our laziness. My dear friends, to follow the teachings of Christ we must be willing to do violence even to ourselves. Otherwise, we will find that, that to our regret, our passiv passivity will lead to the victory of evil. As we continue our Advent journey, let us know that it is good to fight evil with good. May God help us. Amen.